All right, guys, quick little ab check. Oh, okay, all right, we're good. Okay, sorry, that was kind of douchebag of me. But anyways, uh, today I wanted to talk about, so I had a guy reach out to me the other day and he asked me, he said he was a 51-year-old man and that he is going on walks. Uh, his exercise is walks, so I don't know how, he didn't tell me how long he's walking for, how many minutes, or what length, or whatever, but then he came and asked me, he said, what do you think about ankle weights for walking? He said he's been using ankle weights and incorporating it into his walking routine. Then he goes on to ask me, what do I think about weight vests for walking? So, this is what I'm, this is my response to him. I'm going to say do not waste your money on uh, weight vest, do not waste your money on ankle weights. Focus on the duration of time that you're walking. If you want to increase the intensity, yes, uh, ankle weights and a weight vest would do so, but also at the risks of your joints. So to keep your joints healthy and still get the most out of your exercise, I recommend that you walk longer than you usually would. So. This is hypothetical think, speaking. Let's say you walk for a mile, okay? You didn't tell me the length, but let's just say you walk for a mile. Maybe try doubling it, try doing two miles, or maybe go from one mile to a mile and a half, and then the next week, try two miles. Then the next week after that, try two and a half miles, and start pushing your boundaries that way. Uh, if you don't wanna push your boundaries with length, you can push the boundaries at the speed that you are walking. So if you're walking at a moderate speed, if you're walking, kind of just slow, casual like this, start picking up the pace. Start walking at a faster, brisker pace because yes, that is gonna burn more calories than just walking at a slower pace. Same thing with if you walk a longer distance, you're gonna get more work done and burn more calories in that longer distance. Another thing you can think about is the landscape that you're walking. If you're walking on a flat, uh, ground, you're not going to be using as much energy, you're not going to be burning as much calories as you would if you were walking on an incline. So my final thought to you is do not waste your money on a weight vest, do not waste your money on ankle weights, and if you, if you cannot do anything else but walking, but you still want to get the most out of your workout, either increase the length that you're walking, increase the amount of time that you're walking, which kind of goes hand in hand with increasing the length, increase uh, the speed at which you're walking or change the landscape at which you're walking. So if you're walking on a flat ground, walk on an incline. But the best thing for you is probably to get into the gym. Walking is a great exercise. It's a great thing to do maybe as like a morning routine, like waking up, going for a walk uh, before you have your breakfast or something. But if you really want to see the results, get in the gym. And if you guys are struggling with getting results, I do offer online coaching. I have four, six, eight, 12, and 16 week packages. Every package comes with a nutrition plan, a training plan, and 24 seven contact support with me. So the best ways to get uh, into my coaching team, in becoming a Chad Malone Fitness client is to go to the description box down below, click the link there. It's gonna take you directly to my website. Once you're on my website, click the online coaching tab and you can see everything that I offer you. There's also a 30% off all sale that is going until January 10th. Uh, more information about that is also in the bottom. So thank you guys, hit that subscribe button. I hope this was good information for you and I will see you guys in the next video.